So you want to make traffic lights or signals or whatever your country calls blinky goey stop go poles. Take some photos of some. Procrastinate for now studying their design. Model a pole, give it a cap, give it a ring and a top bracket. Start with a box, taper this end, a flat plane for the back plate. Make it slightly rounded if you want, whatever, I'm not your dad. Flatten the slice of sphere to make your first lamp. Extrude out to make the hood for it. Duplicate that twice to make three all up. Make three materials for red, yellow and green, lit up. There's probably a way to do this entirely procedurally but it was faster to make the image of the LED mask, whatever works for you. Do it again but this time unlit. Assign them some textures for backplate and metal. Duplicate the top ring and bracket at the bottom and also the entire traffic light assembly. And hey, we have traffic lights, but let's make this harder. Add custom properties for each light, values 1 to 0. Tick library overridable. Assign these to their own vertex groups we'll call lit. Duplicate all three lamps. Assign their own vertex groups called unlit. Assign unlit material. Add six mask modifiers all up, one for each lamp in lit or unlit state using relevant vertex group. Copy the data path from the custom property make a new driver for the visibility of the mask modifier. Use not var for lit ones, copy this driver to the render visibility. Repeat for all lamps and repeat everything for the crossing lamps. Link this in our final scene, adding the library overrides where we can reposition and we can make a happy blinky glowy stop go pole world.